In the heart of this bustling city, a silent symphony plays out. A rhythm marked not by footsteps, but by the constant reach for our phones. The city changes under their influence, the World Wide Web streaming directly into our pockets. Screens. On every axis, they surround us, project the information they hold without caution, without hesitation, without end. Like a mirage, this digital haze distorts our perceptions. And yet, we keep moving closer. On social media, we search for connection with information, and in abundance, find both and neither. Online feeds, a toxic relationship between person and platform, lure us in with a false promise. In truth, they're tailed not for our interest or enjoyment, but engagement and interaction above all else. Its manipulative design is carefully obfuscated, fooling us into believing we're seeing what we want to be seen. We like and share and comment and repost what we want, when we want to, just so long as the system gets to decide what it wants us to want. We assume a shared reality, beholden to the illusion of a collective truth, but these platforms are designed to show everyone what they want. There can never be just one truth. The algorithm directs a tale of extremes, carefully showing what it assumes will evoke either our admiration or disdain. Any feeling so long as it's strong enough to warrant a reaction, so long as we can help but engage. We're propelled into profitable action by our manufacturer ignorance, the whole truth locked beyond reach, held tightly behind the shroud of the algorithms. The internet isolates us from the world, but also from itself, sending us into echo chambers, down paths from which there's no easy return. But now, with a seemingly innocent scroll, we are all made vulnerable, made a target. Digital reality is filtered through crystals, cathodes, circuits, diodes, simulated images, full brains evolved for an analog world. We become the very data used to torment us, to evoke emotions, anything to make us stay just a fraction longer, make these corporations just a fraction of a cent more profit, immersed in endless scrolling, endless advertisement, endless growth. In the era of unceasing connectivity, the everyday takes on a new rhythm. A hypnotic dance through the digital haze. A repetition paints a canvas of routine against the backdrop of the ever-scrolling screen. On our own, it seems we're powerless to stop it. But in the heart of this bustling city, we need not dance alone.